Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And today we're going to be doing a new series. Now, last time we finished off our Kingdom Rush Frontiers Hero reviews, Bonhart finally came out, and I decided to do something new. Now, this was requested by one of my subscribers, so I decided to try it out. Basically, we'll be making review on all of the premium towers in Kingdom Rush Vengeance. For those of you who are split in between a choice or just don't really have to have have the steam version this these videos are gonna be for you so starting off with our first star which is grim cemetery and this is pretty much the first premium tower it costs three bucks which it's uh, whatever it's not the most expensive thing in the world but still is it really worth it to buy that's what we're gonna be talking about so yeah first and foremost let's check out their stats since they're barrack units so roll the stats 312 hp that's a pretty high amount of HP, to be honest. That's a crap ton. However, they have no armor, so that's bad. And another bad thing is that they don't regenerate their health. Yeah, they don't regenerate their health, but they have an interesting property, which I'm gonna jump in and talk about it in a minute. As far as their damage goes, 4 to 10 physical damage is very underwhelming, not gonna lie. Similar to the orcs, which kinda sucks. And their respawn rate... Up to tier 3, it's 12 seconds, but once you get the tier 4, they're gonna respawn every 15 seconds, so it's actually a downgrade, which is kind of interesting, not gonna lie. And yeah, that's pretty much their basic stats, but they don't really need to regenerate their health, because there's an interesting property that this star has. If you kill an enemy in its radius, it's gone, a zombie is gonna uh, um, come out of the ground, which is pretty interesting. And you could have up to 5 zombies, which is really good, that's a lot of stalling power. But, however, as you know, as I said, they have 15 seconds respawn rate, so if you don't kill an enemy in, in this radius, um, a, a zombie is gonna uh, come out, but it's gonna be somewhere randomly in the radius. And there's a pretty big issue with this tower, it doesn't have a rally point. Basically, you can't move the zombies around, Whenever they're gonna spawn here, and they're gonna stay there forever, until they die, and that's pretty much it. Which could be good if they all spawn in in a really good spot, but chances are RNG is probably gonna screw you over. But we're gonna talk about them more in the, in the conclusion of the video. First of all, let's get into their abilities. Now, on the Steam version they're a little bit switched, so that's a bit weird. So I'm gonna do them as they are into the mobile version. Starting off with... Cold Grip. So yeah, the first ability is not that bad. It's a pretty interesting one for a barracks tower at least. It's rather interesting. So basically, you have this cold grip, which is gonna happen every 15 seconds. And it's gonna slow down enemies by a decent amount, 30%, which is not bad. And it's only 110 bucks, which is really cheap. And then once you upgrade up to tier 2, it's gonna become 12 seconds cooldown, but what they don't tell you, however, is that the slowdown is also increased. Now, instead of 30%, it's gonna be 60%, and that's a lot of slowdown. And as you saw in the previous clips, the area of effect is pretty wide, if I do say so myself, which is very good. I really like this ability. 220 bucks, just like that. You get a nice slowdown. And as you can see, the area is pretty wild. See, the, for a barracks at least, that's uh, pretty good. But as you can see, no rally point, which is very bad since you can't move the zombies. And you, look at this, look at this one. You saw that? This zombie just spawned. As I said, they have set cooldown. So if you don't kill enemies in 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 this area, or if there's no, if, the, if there's less than five zombies, there's go, there's always going to be one of them that's just gonna spawn randomly. As you can see, that's not really good. But as I said, we're gonna touch more on this in the, the conclusion of my of the video so let's move on to the next upgrades the second ability is pretty interesting as well zombie x muscle gain so yeah this upgrade is nothing too special it just increases their basic stats there it is 127 bucks 
It's I believe it was um a hundred and uh, a hundred and fifty without the upgrades, but still the difference is pretty small. And let's take a look at their stats. 312 health, 4 to 11 damage, no armor. Once you upgrade them, they become beefy zombies, and they hold like, what is this? I can't, re I don't, I don't know, but they're holding something, and they're gonna probably start at put punching someone with it. And yeah, let's just check out their stats real quick. As you can see, 390 health, so it was a decent increase, and 7 to 13 attack. But as you can see, they're they don't gain any armor or anything, and just making them a little bit beefier in a way. And that's not bad, you know, it's a decent upgrade, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's good, but I don't know. I just get it just cause. It, whatever, I, I would say it's a decent upgrade, alright. I, I, wanna, I wanna make it look bad, but I can't. It's it's a decent upgrade, alright. Let's, let's just leave it at that. And last but not the least, we also have this wonderful ability. Bloated corpses, yeah. Yeah, the last upgrade, the bloated corpses. Now, every several seconds, which I don't know how long it takes for a zombie, to, for a, for a zombie with um, this infection to spawn in. So yeah, as you can see, 42 damage and 87 damage. But the thing is that the damage is inconsistent. Basically, it's a lie. Here are the actual stats. A tier one, it's gonna do 15. Exp damage around it, the zombie when it ex when it dies it's gonna do 15 damage and it's gonna do 27 poison damage over three seconds which is very good you know poison damage means true damage so having a true damage explosion even though 27 damage is a very small amount it's something however as i said it's gonna be every few seconds so not every zombie is gonna have this bloated corpse effect and the thing is that after you upgrade to tier 2, the damage becomes gets a pretty decent boost. It, when it goes from 15 damage to 60 damage when it explodes. And that's a pretty good amount of damage. It's not bad at all. It's very good, if I do say so myself. And again, the thing is that the zombies are very, very cheap, which is the main thing. I mean, this one costs 70. Once you upgrade, 110. 150. 200. 220, 127, and 93, and 93, that's a total of 186. That's a total of 1,063 gold to max them out, which is very cheap. I don't know if it's cheaper than the Bomb Flingers, I should make a comparison, but I would say they're about as cheap as the Bomb Flingers, which is very good because you can spam this tower. And yeah, to be honest, if I have to give a rating to this tower, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It is a decent tower, don't get me wrong. It's very effective if you're looking for a lot of stalling power, the zombies are definitely going to provide it. But the thing is that they have one issue that I'm not really... Um, I mean, the, the main issue is the fact that they are unpredictable. Since you can't really move them around, if, if they spawn on a bad spot like that, they're gonna stay there until they die. And that kind of sucks because you're wasting a unit. And that's what I don't like about them. The fact that they are RNG. Now, what you can do is, if you have a big crowd of enemy that's, that's about to die, you can just put a Grim Cemetery, and hopefully everyone is everyone is going to be inside of its radius, and once you kill them, well, you're gonna get a lot of zombies in a good spot. But the thing is that, as I said, they don't regenerate their health, which is problematic. However, you can use Junpai, as you can see, he can regenerate their health. Or you can use the Shaman, the Orc Shaman. Once you upgrade them up to tier 4, you can always use his healing root ability. And that's a pretty good combo. So, do I, will I recommend you buying the Grim Cemetery? If you're looking for a lot of stalling power, then yes, go for them. However, keep in mind that they are kind of an RNG. You can't really control them. You're gambling every time you place Grim Cemetery, because you never know when the unit is gonna spawn. Unless you 
position them in a perfect spot, then good for you, but it's kinda hard. That's the thing, it's hard to use, but if you can get past the RNG element, this tower is actually pretty good. So yeah guys, well with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you wanna see more of this content in the future, and while you're at it, drop a like on the video, it means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy, over and out.